An event will take place in June supporting a program led by young people concerned with their health and their safety. The mission is education and prevention through the arts, and the name of the initiative is the Urban Awareness Project. To tell us more are two guests in the project, both community outreach coordinators, Vivian Mabawike and Leticia Guerriere. Thank you very much for being Thank with you us. For Thank you. Us. I'll start with Vivian. Talk about this organization. Uh, how did this all get started? Well, um, Urban Awareness is an organization comprised of, I would call, artists, um, youth activists. And it really created, was created um, in the beginning of this year through Leticia Guerriere and the program director, Justice Sharp. Um, and we really met after Leticia Guerrier really on behalf of Justice really organized a group of young people that he knew um, took you know activism and youth empowerment seriously and really wanted to create a conversation about empowerment with young people so I'll give it over to uh, Leticia right explain now. this uh, the artist and the empowerment sure so Justice Sharp who is an artist himself um, is incarcerated so his vision comes for seeing his community healthy um, somewhere that is safe to come back home to, somewhere that's safe for his family and his friends to be with. So as an artist, um, he came up with the vision of addressing issues that are important, such as healthy relationships, mind, body, and soul wellness, and being a survivor of violence through the arts. So in collaboration with different poets, po poets mm -hmm. um, with different artists, such as um, specific artists through artists through hum humanity. Um, we're going to partner up and we're going to address these th ish three issues uh, through different mediums, such as poems, um, art pieces, and even some documentaries that we've teamed up with some videographers with. When you say art pieces, what would these be like? So, um, so I've been working with some amazing men um, who are painters um, that work with artists for humanity. and. So many of their styles are very different. Some of them use acrylics, some of them use um, spray paints, but they're all doing um, and leaving their comfort zones for this event because they really appreciate um, what the message that we're trying to bring to young people um, in really empowering them to, as Leticia said, talk about issues that concern them and concern our whole community. So um, the painters will be using um, different kind of mediums to kind of talk and represent the three different topics. So one of the paintings will talk, touch upon what does it look like for a person to be one with their mind, body, and soul? What does that mean to have self-awareness and to respect and love yourself? Some people will be writing, uh, will be creating paintings that will focus more on healthy relationships and what does that look like? And other people will be starting a conversation by creating a piece that's gonna be talking about what are the effects of violence in our community and how do we make sure that we are not you know, leaving other people behind, such as the children? What happens to them when they're living in a community in Boston and in the summertime it gets hot and people can't enjoy the, that because they know that also means that there may be many homicides. And really like how do we talk with that trauma of what these young people are living within and so a lot of the topics very much um, overlap with one another because to talk about violence is to talk about healthy relationships and do you have that in your community and how does that impact your mind body and soul so Ms. Isher, uh, you want uh, people to come to this event and not just to sit there look and listen but I guess you want them to be part of a conversation absolutely so this event is the first we hope of many and we hope to you know, begin a conversation with each other so that we can all become familiar with the issues and look at each other as resources throughout the city so that um, we can continue these conversations even after this event. Um, I think it's critical that even after this, this event, we can continue to be in communication. So at the end of the, the event, we're going to have a panel with the artists and the performers so that the audience has the opportunity to ask questions and to be engaged and to share information um, so that we can start planning the next event. Yeah, could, could one of you talk about the power of, of the arts to break the ice and get people talking and thinking? Well, um, I think that Justice's vision of really educating and empowering young people to talk about critical issues through the arts is unique and I think transformative. I think when we think about what kind of learners are we? People think about when we go to school, we read, we write papers, we do presentations, but not all youth and not all people learn that way. Some people are more um, 
kinesthetic hands-on kinesthetic learners mm -hmm. and need to learn through touch or need to or can grasp a concept through poetry or grasp a concept through an art piece and can really connect you know and so I think by having it um, drawn to the arts you really get to not only showcase the talents that Boston youth do have in the city um, but you're also allowing them to explore their more artistic sides and let them know that we can talk about critical issues that deeply impact all of us in ways that isn't just a, a lecture style where it's like oh I'm the subordinate like child that has to like learn what to do well but it's like you're empowering them because you're saying young people you have so many ways and talents and gifts to give to the Boston community and to engage in a conversation about empowerment and health. Finally just a little time here we should mention the exact time and place and where there's more information? Yeah. Sure. So the event is happening Friday, June 1st at the Salvation Army Joan and Croc Center located on 650 Dudley Street mm -hmm. uh, in Roxbury. Um, and it That's will time. begin at 6.30 mm -hmm. and it's going to run from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. And you also have a website? Yes. We so we have an Eventbrite uh, website set up. It's urbanawareness.eventbrite.com. Yes, and Eventbrite <laughs> with spelled B-R-I-T-E, yes, dot com. All yes. right, thank you both very much, Letitia Guerriere and Vivian Mabawike.